Operation Safe Return and met the needs of over 2,300 students here in the Coastal Bend this weekend. Melissa Castro with CCPD joins us live. We've been talking with you leading up to this event. Now it's over. You can finally rest a little bit. <laughs> or, or no, just a little bit. We say that because, uh, well, first off, over 2,300 uh, bags were distributed. Correct. How proud are you of that? Oh, we're, we're excited. We're super excited. We had 25 2,500 people come in to the ABC Center and that we were able to get those backpacks out, but it was it was awesome because there was so much information that was given out. The vendors really outdid themselves. Um, you know, with the nonprofits and so forth, we all are very familiar with each other, so they mm -hmm. really, you know, went out and did amazing things. You know, our sponsors, I, I mean, it, we couldn't be more pleased. Well, good. And uh, KIII, uh, media sponsors for this event, where we were so happy to see everybody turn out like they did. So many, as you mentioned, uh, resources and offerings yes. out there for families. Uh, what's next for families that maybe missed this event? Uh, can they still get in on the action? Yes, or? they can go ahead and call uh, the Crime Prevention Office, and that's at the 886-2765 uh, number, and let us know. Likewise, as well, we're going to be during the week going to, you know, different uh, organizations that may need and like I said just people call in if there's something that you need are there any school districts that are still reaching out saying we have a couple kids are you able to help them out or do the is, is no 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 we pretty much uh, with our numbers and so forth we did some deliveries um, last week for our media big okay. media event but if they, anybody needs any help and not only like this week like I said you know the supplies don't last the kids all year round they go through they either move to our city or they move to another school and you know they're in the need of supplies so we want to make sure that they know that they can give us a call during the year and we do get those calls hey do we we need this or you know mm -hmm. some of the um la Ramada, we have events hey do y'all we're there to help them uh, another big thing is uh people can still donate if you're at home going you know i have some some money that i'd like to donate to a good cause this is it right here melissa yes. uh, spearheading this whole event um people can still donate because you still have to meet those needs next year. Right, exactly. We start from like this year now just to make sure to, that we're able to get to be able to buy all the school supplies. And of course, the challenge is everything is more expensive. Mm -hmm. The clear backpacks, thank goodness, we ordered ours right that week when they decided, hey, we're changing policy. So that was an extra expense on parents because sometimes they use those backpacks from the year before. Yeah. And so all of a sudden it was like, okay, I'm not being able to use that backpack. So I was glad that we were able to assist with that. Impact Marketing is an amazing sponsor. I mean, he was able to get us, you know, the backpack, all the supplies inside. And then not only that, he helps us to get people to stuff those backpacks. So without him, we wouldn't be able to do this. Well, if you missed out on this year and you want to be one of those groups that's a vendor or a local business trying to help out these kids, get in touch with Melissa. We're going to have all the information on our website at kitripletv.com a little bit after our first edition this morning. Melissa, as always, thank you so very much. Always a pleasure working with you. Thank you. You guys are amazing. I mean, well, from you. the beginning, everybody, Rebecca and Charlie, you guys are amazing. We wouldn't be able to be as successful with our event if it wasn't for you guys. Well, and it's the kids and the families that benefit the most. Definitely. So.